talking about wholesale trade. What is an wholesale trade? An wholesale trade can be defined as the trade which a wholesaler engaged in by buying in large quantity from the producer and reselling in small quantities to the retailer or directly to the consumers. Now, what are the functions of a wholesaler? It breaks bulk, it, it gives advisory, form, it provides advisory functions to the producer and the retailer. It also advertises goods and services and engages in sales promotion. He also offers credit facilities to the manufacturer. The wholesaler also engages in distribution of goods and services to his retailers and also to the consumer. Now, what are the reasons for elimination of wholesaler? That is the middleman. The wholesaler can also be referred to as a middleman. One of the reasons why a wholesaler or a middleman should be eliminated from the chain of distribution is one, the manufacturers can offer direct sales to retailers, especially when it has to do with perishable goods. Also, producers can establish um, warehouses to avoid wholesalers wholesalers storing goods on their behalf. Also, producers should sell directly to others on the chain of distribution, especially when there is high demand for goods and services. At the same time too, manufacturers should open retail businesses, retail shops at designated centers which would and as a result, middlemen will not be needed. Such can lead to the elimination of middlemen. Also, producers should break and should brand their goods themselves and also break the box themselves, which will enable them to sell directly to the retailers and the consumers, thereby eliminating the middlemen. Also, middlemen make too much profit at the expense of retailers which can also which producers can also look into thereby removing the place of middlemen and selling directly to retailers and consumers then what is a chain of distribution a chain of distribution is the way through which commodities move from the producer down to the final consumer and then let's just have a form, let's have it in the form of a tree. The first person on the chain of distribution is the producer, which can also be referred, referred to as the manufacturer. The second person on the chain of distribution is the wholesaler or the middleman. Then the third person on the chain of distribution is the retailer. Then the last person on the chain of distribution is the consumers, the final consumers. And lastly, factors that should be considered before choosing a channel of distribution. One, nature of the goods involved. Two, the state of the economy. Three, marketing strategies. And four, new products. When new products are to be launched into the market, the channel of distribution that would enhance it will also determine the kinds of goods to be sold at a particular time. Also, availability of products to the final consumers or the retailers will determine factors that one should consider before choosing a channel of distribution. In the next video, we'll be looking at past questions from SSC and UTME examinations.